Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I feel so weird sitting here and saying welcome back to my channel. It has been a hot minute since you guys have seen me in my studio filming a makeup tutorial. Like, who is she? I don't even know. I'm not even sure if I remember how to do makeup. That is how long it's been since I have put any on my face, to be perfectly honest. Um, so yeah, today I just wanted to sit down with you guys. I don't really have like a plan necessarily for what I want to do, but I just wanted to kind of chill with you guys, chat with you guys. I have some new products and I'm just going to kind of play around and see what we come up with for today's video. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. This is a much more laid back style of video than I'm sure you guys are used to when I'm actually filming in my studio space. Um, but I'm trying to kind of switch up the vibe here on my channel a little bit. You guys know I've been posting a lot more vlogs and just lifestyle content and I'm kind of just wanting to switch up the vibe. So we're just going to chill today. We're going to plan a little bit of makeup, see what we come up with. Um, trying to get back in the swing of filming, um, in my actual studio. So I didn't want to put too much pressure on myself because like I said, it's been a minute since I've put makeup on my face, but I've gotten a lot of new products that I want to try out and um, kind of test and play with with you guys. So that is what we're going to do for today's video. If you are new to my channel, my name is Faye. Welcome. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you do, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. I would also love if you joined my fam here on YouTube, of course. So feel free to click on that subscribe button down below to become part of the fam here. And yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and zoom you guys in and get into the video. All right, guys, so we are up close and personal. I went ahead and primed my eyes off camera. Per usual, I just use my Too Faced Born This Way Sculpting Concealer in the shade Sand. And I just set that with a, um, a translucent powder and then applied my little e.l.f. tapes. I've mentioned these in my video before. This is what they look like and I normally just cut them in half because obviously I don't need this long of a piece on my eye. So I just cut them in half and they last twice as long and I just use that to get a nice straight line on the edges because like I said it's been a minute so you know I want to make sure we can get those nice crisp edges on the outer corner. So today I think I'm going to play with these two palettes. I've used them on my channel before but I didn't film a ton of makeup tutorials last year and I really wanted to play with these again especially this one. When I filmed the video with this palette I mentioned to you guys that um, this was actually my first ever Pat McGrath eyeshadow palette and I've only played with it like once so I want to play with it a little bit more and I also feel like I can kind of get a little Valentine's Day vibe um, with this palette which I think is kind of what I'm going for. I don't have exactly what I want to do in mind. Um, but since Valentine's Day is right around the corner, I want to go ahead and give you guys, well actually, when this video goes, I'm not sure if this video will be up before or after Valentine's Day. If it's after, then, you know, just in the vibes of February, the month of Valentine's Day, um, I kind of want to give you guys a little bit of that vibe for today's video. So I think first I'm going to go in with this shade out of the Too Faced palette though this maple shade and I'm just going to blend that in my crease as my transition shade. Okay, so we got the first eye done. Not too shabby, not too shabby, especially for somebody that hasn't put makeup on and I don't even know how long. I mean, you guys let me know. Are you guys wearing makeup like that? I just feel like if I don't have anywhere to be, I'm just not really taking the time to do it. I've pretty much been working from home, which has been such a blessing, let me tell you. Um, since last year, around this same time actually. So pretty much a whole year at this point. Um, they did just let us know though, that they are planning to um, have us start coming back into the office like for one full week out of every month. So basically like one week out of the month, I'll have to go into the office, at least for now. So yeah, but prior to that, I've just been working from home and I just haven't had a need to put makeup on, honestly. Um, so 
so I haven't. I've been trying to work more on like my skincare, but yeah, makeup just has not been a priority. So again, like I said, I haven't fully decided what I wanna do um, for this look, but I think I'm gonna go next into this pink shade right here. It's like a matte mauve kind of pink tone. And I'm switching up my brush. It's still a blending brush, but it's just a little bit more um, like tapered. And I'm gonna focus this a little bit more in the crease, but still kind of right over that brown. I more so just wanted to lay the brown down first because I typically like to have um, warmth in my crease. So I just kind of wanted to lay that down just as a transition shade, like I said but I'm gonna go in and kind of create those mauve tones. And I'm still trying to decide what shade I wanna use on my lid because there's two shades that I kind of have my eye on in this palette. And by the way, this um, Pat McGrath palette, it's more um, affordable. I think it's like $78. Um, I picked mine up last year when it launched. Highly recommend. If you have been wanting to try out any of her palettes like I have um, or like I wanted to prior to this one and you just like didn't really want to spend the money or couldn't spend the money or just couldn't really bring yourself to spend because I think it's like $125 normally for one of her palettes. Um, this one you get a good amount of shades in it. Sorry, I'm blinding out with the mirror. But you get a good amount of shades in the palette. The pans are a little bit smaller, but honestly, that's fine because I doubt I'll hit pan on all of these shades. Um, and But the quality is still like A1, so highly, highly recommend. Okay, so next, I think I'm gonna go in with, do I wanna do brown or purple? Let's start out with brown. Mm, or should I do purple? I'm gonna do purple. So this purple right here, it's a matte purple. Y'all know I don't typically play around with too much color. I usually just do my browns, but I'm gonna switch it up today. We're gonna do the purple. Actually, I'm gonna mix the purple and the brown. So this purple and this brown right here. I'm gonna mix them together, because I can't decide. So we're just gonna mix them together and pop those on the outer V. It's giving more purple, but that's fine. And hopefully I'm staying in focus <laughs> because honestly, I just feel so like out of practice. It's crazy how when you go for a long time without doing something, no matter how many times you've done it in the past, you can kind of like feel out of practice with doing it until you get back into doing it again. Kind of like, you know, with riding a bike or like roller skating, you never really forget how to do those things, but if you haven't done it for a while, you're gonna be a little rusty at first until you kind of get back into the swing of it, which is how I feel about filming. But I have been super anxious to like get back to it um, but I think the main thing for me is that my life is just changing and I feel like I want my channel to reflect my life more, which is why you guys, if you've been, you know, keeping up with my uploads, you're starting to see more lifestyle content like I was mentioning, which hopefully you guys are enjoying. Let me know down below in the comments if you are enjoying that kind of content. But I do feel like I'm probably gonna start incorporating more of that type of content on my channel, just because that's kind of just where my life is right now. I'm more like, my passions have kind of shifted. I still love makeup, of course, but I also just recently bought a house and we've been here for a year and we're actually about to start some new home projects, um, adding a, island in the kitchen and doing some renovations to our laundry room area and just different stuff like that. So 
I want to share those parts of my life with you guys too. And I feel like you guys would be interested in that because, I mean, based on my analytics anyway, most of you guys are like around my age or older. And so I feel like we're all kind of in a similar space as far as like where we are in life. Um, so although of course I'll still include the makeup content, I feel like you guys would also be interested in the lifestyle stuff too, like organizing my house and cleaning. Like I've gotten a lot of positive feedback on my clean with me's. So yeah, y'all just let me know if you've been enjoying those videos and if there's any other types of videos that you guys would like to see in that same vein. Um, because I like that's kind of where I'm at. I want to start including more of that kind of content on my channel because that's what I'm enjoying right now. Um, so yeah, so anyway, this is why I don't do like chatty videos because I'll sit here and chat with y'all all day and I won't actually do my makeup. But I'm debating between this shade, which is like a duo chrome, it's kind of like a goldish pink, pinkish tone, which I feel like with this, where I'm going is what I'm gonna do. Or this shade, or this shade. But honestly, I'm feeling like this shade. So we're gonna start out with that and see how it goes. Um, but yeah, so I don't know y'all. Just let me know, like I was saying. I'm gonna wet my brush too. I'm just gonna use my um, Urban Decay All Nighter to wet my brush so that hopefully this doesn't get everywhere um but yeah i would love y'all's feedback on that like i said i know a couple of you guys have already kind of let me know that you're enjoying the lifestyle content um but you know always want to know y'all's feedback what you're enjoying what you would want to see more of so definitely oh look at that so pretty um, but yeah, definitely let me know down in the comments um, what you guys like, what you want to see. Okay, so I feel like this shade, I feel like we can do better. So I'm actually going to go in with my finger. And you know, I should have put down like some glitter glue or something because this shade is giving a lot of kind of glitter but okay so I feel like we're getting somewhere using our finger to kind of pick it up and it's applying a little bit better that way so I'm just gonna pop it on with my finger and then go in with the brush to just like you know sharpen the edges Okay, so we have the lid shade on, it's looking good. I'm gonna go back in with this brush that we use on the outer V and just kind of lightly buff around those edges a little bit. I didn't add any extra product, I'm just kind of buffing around the outside just so that it's not super harsh. Um, but I'm also kind of blending that purple back into the crease a little bit because you know as you add more colors some of the colors kind of get lost in the sauce and now i'm actually going to pick up that purple and brown again and just kind of add it back to this outer v because again like i said kind of got lost a little bit with the blending and we want that to be nice and vibrant out here. Okay, so this is what we're looking like. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and apply my liner and lashes off camera. Do I even have a liner? Yes. So I'm gonna do a quick little wing and apply my lashes. I'm gonna be wearing my Jordan Woods Times um, or Eiler times Jordan Woods, the Tropic Like It's Hot 
lashes, nothing new there. So I'm actually going to apply my liner and lashes and then I'll be back to go ahead and start on the face. All right guys, so liner and lashes are on and just a quick side note, I wanted to mention, what did I do with it? Um, the lash glue that I used, where did it go? Okay, so this, I mentioned it to you guys before, this is the Kiss Lash Glue Liner. I like to actually line my eyes first before I go in with this, but you can use it as both a liner and a lash glue. Um, it's black, and the thing that I really love about this is you can apply the glue exactly where you want it on your lash line, and then you just pop your lashes on top. You don't have to put any glue on your lashes. As you can see, my lashes are on really good, and I have been loving this. It makes applying my lashes 10 times easier. So if you're somebody that um, has a hard time with applying your lashes, or if you just want an easier option, or even for touch-ups, that would be great. Um, that is super inexpensive. Like I said, it's by Kiss. And I have just been obsessed with it, honestly. Well, I haven't been wearing makeup a ton lately, like I said, but when I was wearing makeup, I was loving that when I discovered it because it just makes putting on my lashes 10 times easier. So this is how the eyes are looking. Definitely giving very much Valentine, uh, Valentine's Day vibes. So, and I also tried out this uh, NARS Climax Extreme Mascara. I have been wanting to try this out for a while and so far I do like it, um, but I'm gonna try it on my bottom lashes also once we get to that point. So first I'm just gonna prep my skin as usual. I'm not switching anything up here. I'm using my Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 Replenishing Primer and Sp Setting Spray. And I've got a new bottle because I used up my other one. All right, and then next up, we're not really doing uh, too much new with the primers because I don't really have anything new. And for me, with my oily skin, I tend to just prefer to stick with what I know works well. So next, I'm trying to go in with my Fenty Pro Filter um, Instant Retouch Primer, but it has obviously been a long time since the last time I used it because it is not pumping out and it's kind of like squirting everywhere. So I'm just gonna open it. There we go. I'm just gonna open it. There's still plenty of product in here, so I don't know what the problem is, but I'm just gonna take some off. And I know that's probably super unsanitary, but I'm the only one using this primer and I couldn't get any out. So this is what we're working with today. And I'm just gonna apply this all over my face. All right, and then next up for smoothing, I'm going in with this one by e.l.f. This is my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. And I'm just gonna get a little bit of that on my finger and just kind of do it between my two middle fingers. And I'm really just focusing this on my T-zone, as you can see. I'm really just pressing it into the skin. And honestly, my eyeshadow though, it's kind of a vibe. I can't even front. I'm gonna have to try to find, I didn't really pull out any um, like pinky tones for my lip shade, but I might have to go back into my collection and try to find something more pinky that I think will go better with this eye. Um, because like I said, when I sat down, I really didn't have any idea what I was gonna film. So, yeah, we're gonna have to get us a different um, a different lip color. Okay, so last but not least for primers, I'm going in with this one. This, I have heard, is a dupe for the Milk Hydro Grip, which you guys already know, the Milk Hydro Grip is my jam. So I used this a couple of times, I think like probably at least two months ago now. And <laughs> I liked it when I used it, um, but I don't think I've been able to give it like enough of a chance to really know if it's as good as my milk one. So we're gonna use it today. And I'm gonna throw her in the rotation so that we can see if we like her or not. She definitely gives the same consistency though. Like that kind of um, gel formula that kind of gets tacky once you rub it in. And also too, I'm just gonna get a little bit more of the poreless putty primer. And I'm just gonna put that underneath my eyes. 
because I kind of feel like I've been getting like lines under my eyes more like fine lines so we might need to figure out something with that but um, I'm just gonna try to fill them in a little bit for right now and then now we're gonna go in to foundation so today I'm actually just gonna use my NARS um, soft matte complete foundation I did a full review on this foundation if you're interested you can check it out and I'm also going to mix it actually no I'm not so I'm going to pick up the new Huda Beauty um, foundation the liquid one that she came out with is supposed to be a luminous matte, which is very intriguing to me. So I'm gonna pick that up and do a, well, I plan to do a review on it. You guys let me know if you would wanna see that. But once I get that, I think I wanna try mixing it with the stick foundation because I did a full review on this as well. It's beautiful on the skin, but if you have oily skin, um, you may not love it for like long wear. Lo Ooh, I'm dripping everywhere. For long wearability. So um, I kinda wanna pick up the new uh, foundation just to try it out and then also to try out mixing it with that one to see if I like it or if it like makes a difference with the formula. Um, but for today, I'm just gonna use this one. So since we're already kinda putting it on our face like this, we'll just go ahead and continue the trend. Um, but yeah, so if you haven't checked out any of my recent videos or commented on any of my recent videos, let me know down below how you've been. Um, I feel like there's like a few of you guys that always watch and comment. Um, so shout out to y'all, <laughs> but I feel like there's also a few people that may not have realized that. I've been like kind of back to posting, especially since it hasn't been nearly as consistent as it once was. Um, and of course too, I understand that people have a lot going on, especially in today's time. So if you're new to my channel or if you're returning to my channel after seeing this um, tutorial going up, definitely let me know down below what you've been up to, how you've been, um, you know, especially with everything going on with this panty that we have. I heard Alyssa actually call it a panty in one of her videos. And ever since then, I just thought that was so funny. And now every time I refer to the pandemic, I always say panty. <laughs> but yeah, I know it's been like the most going on for all of us. So definitely let me know how you're holding up. This is a little bit darker and more like orangey than I remember. I think I actually bought this foundation though when um, I had like just, like in the summer when I had a tan. So I may need to go back to my original Tahoe shade now that I'm pretty much back to my winter shade. Um, this shade is Morea, which is a little bit more warm. It's giving me summer vibes, um, summer tone vibes, at least for my complexion. And that is long gone. So I probably just need to um, go back to my original Tahoe shade. But we're gonna make it work. So for concealer today, I'm actually gonna go in with this one by Milani. This is the um, Conceal Plus Perfect Longwear Concealer in the shade Warm Beige. And hopefully we can kind of use this to, you know, balance everything out. And to blend that out, I'm going in with my new favorite. This is the DSMD sponge. Um, I have been loving this. I have several of them that I have just been using in a constant rotation when I'm doing my makeup, of course. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna use this to blend everything out.
Okay, so now that I have that blended out, I'm just gonna go in before I bake with my Urban Decay All Nighter um, Waterproof Setting Powder and I'm just gonna lightly set everything in place. My face is very warm, you guys. Very, very warm. Which it may also be the lighting, which I feel like every YouTuber always says when it doesn't look quite right. They're like, oh, it's the lighting. But honestly, this is, it doesn't look as bad in person. Like when I'm looking at it on the viewfinder um, or like in my monitor, it's giving very much mask, <laughs> like completely different color. But when I look at it in real life, it's, you know, blending in fine. So, you know, it may just be how the camera is picking it up. And maybe once I go in like and edit, it will look different. But on the monitor, it's definitely looking a little, a little warm for my complexion. But we are going to keep pushing on. So today for my powder or to bake, I think I'm going to use my Laura Mercier Translucent Honey Powder. And I'm going to apply it with another one of my DSMD sponges. Um, I really like the black one to apply powders with. Actually, I don't think I'm gonna use that. I think I'm just gonna use my regular translucent. Oh, this is a mix. What did I mix this with? I'm not sure what I mixed this with, but I think I'm gonna use this because it's a little bit lighter. And I just feel like I'm in a lighter place than apparently I was when I bought all of this stuff in the summer. <laughs> so I'm just gonna use this. Um, I don't remember what this is a mix with. I feel like it's a mixture of the original, maybe the original translucent and a little bit of the translucent honey. So we're gonna go with that to set our face today. And like I was saying, I'm using the, um, the DSMD sponge. And I really like the black one for applying powder. Um, it kind of has a more like, this one I feel like is more spongy. And this one I feel like is more, I don't know how to describe it. It's like a more kind of, I keep wanting to say silicone, but I feel like that's not right. That's not the right word. Um, but the texture is just a little bit different. Um, but I feel like it does a really great job of applying powder. I normally use it dry, but um, since I hadn't done my makeup in forever, I had to wash, you know, all of my stuff that I had in here before I used it. So I'm using it wet today. But yeah, I'm just applying a pretty, you know, like a thicker layer and then I'm just going over it. So I guess I'm not really baking. <laughs> but I'm just going over it and just pressing it all into the skin. Um, which I've kind of found that I don't really need to bake as much, maybe like specifically in my cheek area, but I'm literally not going anywhere. So I'm not super concerned about it. All right, so next I'm gonna set the rest of my face. And if you've been watching my channel, you already know I'm going in with my CoverGirl Full Spectrum um, Matte Ambition Foundation Powder. I use mine in the shade Medium Tan Neutral. And I'm using my Morphe E1 powder brush to set all over, pretty much everywhere that I did not apply um, the loose powder or concealer. And just be sure to bring it down your neck, especially for me today, since clearly I'm a whole different color than I was the last time I did my makeup. So just make sure everything is nice and seamless. This chair that I'm sitting in is so 
loud. Hopefully it's not too distracting for you guys, but it is super loud. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my brows off camera and then I will be back to go ahead and finish up the rest of the face. All right guys, so we are back and I went ahead and put on my brows, as you can see. I used my Benefit um, Goof Proof Brow Pencil in shade number four per usual. And I also went ahead and finished up my lower lash line just for the sake of time. Um, I just used the, um, a mix of the mauve and purple shades. So this shade and this shade in the palette on the lower lash line. And then I lined my waterline with a blue um, liner because why not? This one is from Pixie in the shade Black Blue. And I just smoked that out and then used the NARS mascara on my lower lashes. So now we're gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of the face. And I just realized that I forgot to use this before I set my face. This is the Fenty Beauty Cheeks Out Cream Bronzer, which I have been wanting to try for a hot minute. And I had it up here and completely forgot to use it. I got mine in the shade Teddy, and this is what it looks like. But we'll have to save this for another video because like I said, I forgot to use it before I set my face. So instead, we are gonna go in, I think with this palette, this is from Pretty Vulgar. It's the Nesting Bitch Face Palette. And I actually got this in a BoxyCharm. I don't remember which BoxyCharm it was, but um, I'm trying to give y'all, it's kind of giving a glare. That, there you go, that's a better representation of the colors. But like I said, I got this in a BoxyCharm and um, I think I wanna try it out. So, I'm gonna go in with this brush. This is my Morphe R14 um, little bronzer brush. And I think I'm gonna go into the shade Sunkiss Snitch, which is this one right here. And we're gonna use that to bronze. Hopefully, it's looking a little bit warm, but hopefully it'll be a good shade because I'm already pretty warm. I don't know. We might have to. Ooh, we might have to go with something different. Um, yeah, that's a little too warm for my taste. So instead, I'm gonna go in with. I don't think I have any bronzers up here. Oh, here we go. All right, so I'm gonna go in with my tried and true. Fenty Powder Bronzer. This one's in the shade Caramel Cutie. I can never go wrong with this one. So we're just gonna go with this and bronze the face. Okay, face is bronzed. And I think I'm going to also go back into my setting powder and just lightly kind of clean this up just a little bit. Really just from my lip out because I've noticed that it tends to get a little dark in this area, kind of like muddy. So I don't want my bronzer to come down too far down here just because like I said, I don't want to create any shadows down there. So I'm just gonna kind of buff that out a little bit. And I know like I've seen a lot of influencers uh, talk about shaving their face. And I think that's something that would probably help too because I know like makeup kind of lays on your face differently if you have hair on your face. So I may try, I mean, I've done it before, but it's been a long time since the last time I did it. So I may try um, doing that, shaving my face, and that may kind of help with like the darkness on this part of my face. Cause I do kind of have like a little mini stash <laughs> happening. Um, so that could probably help. 
Um, all right, so I'm trying to open this blush so that we can use it today. I got a little package a couple of weeks ago from Minted and they included one of their blushes. This one is Peach for the Stars and it looks like this. Very pretty, but not what I'm going for for today, I don't think. So let's see what else we have. Maybe we can go back into this Pretty Vulgar palette and we'll go in with this Hush Blush shade right here. It's like a mauve a matte mauve tone shade. So I'll go ahead and get my angle brush. This is my Morphe times Jaclyn Hill JH04. And we'll go ahead and use this for our blush just a little. Okay, maybe a lot. <laughs> that was unintentional, but this is really pretty. Nice matte blush shade. Okay, so blush is on. I think I'm gonna set my face really quickly. So I have a couple of new setting sprays. I have this one from Charlotte Tilbury. I actually heard about this one from my friend Jasmine. Um, her channel is Jasmine Airedale, and she speaks very highly about this, specifically about how long it keeps your makeup on your face even after wearing a mask. So this is, like I said, the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray, Party All Night, Stay All Day. And then I also got this one. This is the new Milk Hydro Grip um, Set and Refresh Spray. I think I'm gonna hold off on this one and go in with this just because I haven't used it and I've been kind of anxious to use it. So we're gonna go in with this one today. It has a nice kind of like refreshing scent to it. It's not too, it's not strong at all. It's a really light scent, but it smells really fresh. That's the best way I can think to describe it. Very fresh. But the mister on this, which you guys could probably see for yourself, it's very fine. So it just kind of like melted down on my face, which was really nice. Um, okay, so now I need a highlighter. I don't think I'm gonna use this palette for highlight just because it doesn't really have any shades that I'm kind of going for right now. I also have this one, I forgot. I have the um, Benefit, the Professional Super Setter. This is a new setting spray. I have so much new stuff, you guys. Like, it's been so long since I filmed a video. I have so many new products. I even forgot I have this bronzer, Charlotte Tilbury, new bronzer. Um, and this palette, Artist Couture, Supreme Nudes. Like, so much stuff that I need to try out for you guys. Um, so, definitely gonna need to film, like, some more makeup tutorials so that I can try out more of these products. Um, but for highlight today, I don't know. I've been using these CoverGirl ones forever, I feel like, and I kinda wanna try something different, but I don't think I really have anything new. Let me just look in my drawer really quickly and see what I have. Okay, so yeah, I don't really have anything new, but I do have this that I haven't used in a while. So this is the L'Oreal Crushed Foil Metallic Highlighter. And this one is in the shade Rose Quartz, which I thought kind of went with the vibe. And can we just take a moment for my skin though? My skin is flawless, okay? Flawless. So I'm gonna use this and it actually looks more kind of champagne-y once I opened it. Um, but we're gonna go with it. So I'm using my Anastasia brush and I'm not gonna do a ton of highlight. I feel like people aren't really doing a ton of highlight these days. So I'm just gonna kinda keep it light, like mostly towards this back area of my cheeks. I'm gonna kind of bring it down on my cheekbone, but I'm not gonna do too much. But we are gonna highlight the nose, always. And I'm just gonna do a little bit on the tip. And kind of blend it out. Oh, little nose highlight, okay. And 
Cubis bow. And I'm gonna highlight my inner corner, which I almost forgot about. So I'm gonna take this little brush. I've had it forever and it doesn't have any um, like names or anything on it. But this is the brush that I always use to highlight because it just fits perfectly in my inner corner using the same highlighter. And we're just gonna pop this right on the inner corner. And sorry if y'all can hear Apollo. I don't know what it is that he sees outside but he is going ham right now. And if you're new to my channel, Apollo is my dog, by the way. And I've also learned that like highlighting my inner corner, it looks better to not just put it right here in my inner corner since I do kind of have a hooded lid. It looks better to kind of bring it up on my lid a little bit just right in this inner corner so that's what you see me doing i just feel like it just looks better on my eye like that and it accentuates my eye shape um better than just putting it in that inner corner just because of the way that my eyes are shaped so okay so we got that now we can move on to the lips so for lips today, I think I'm gonna try to use this new Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm Cream in the shade Fenty Glow. What do we think? Is it a vibe or not? Nah? We're gonna find out. <laughs> and I normally do a brown liner, but since we are giving pink vibes today, I think I'm going to do something a little more rose, like maybe hover. Or what shade is this? Boldly Bare, that's probably not the vibe. What about this one? Ginger by Kylie Cosmetics. Mm. Okay, I think, let's try Hover to start. Brown is kind of my comfort zone when it comes to uh, lip liners, but we're gonna try this and just see what happens. It may not give me what I'm looking for but I don't want the lip to turn out too warm. Okay, so I line the lips. I kind of filled them in a little bit um, because I kind of felt like it wasn't showing up at first, but I think it looks good now. So I'm gonna go in, like I said, with the Fenty uh, Gloss Balm Cream. I did pick up all of the shades of this um, line so i'm not sure if it's too late at this point to like do a video maybe i'll include it in like as part of another video but or maybe i'll just do like an instagram reel or something of all the shades swatched but we're just gonna oh yes 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 this is a good everyday color mmm i love nice kind of pinky nude shade but it's not too much. And it's giving what I wanted for this lip. I'm gonna have to put this in my purse because this is a banger for sure. Okay, so this is what we're looking like. So I'm gonna zoom you guys out really quick and then I'll be back to show you guys the, well, you see the finished look, but to give you guys the outro and all of that jazz. All right, you guys, so this is the finished look, which of course you already saw. I just uh, put on some earrings really quickly. And when I went out of the room, like not in my studio lights, my foundation definitely matches better. And I feel like even looking in the viewfinder now or like in my monitor now that I have everything on, it is flowing a little bit better. So I don't know. It may have just kind of been like the initial shock of having foundation on my face after not seeing it for so many weeks. Um, but yeah, your girl still got a little talent, a little skill, okay? I was a little nervous because like I said, it's been at least two months maybe a month since I've put, at least a month and a half for sure, since I've put makeup on my face. So your girl was a little bit nervous. I wasn't sure how it was gonna come out, but I mean, not to toot my own horn, but 
toot toot, okay? It's, it's kind of snatched, I gotta say. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. I feel like I didn't chat as much with you guys as I would have liked to. I kind of started to in the beginning and then kind of just got focused on the makeup. I'm not amazing at the whole chit chat and do my makeup at the same time. I feel like it just, I can't focus on two things at once without making the video crazy long. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the little bit of chatting that um, I did do at the beginning of the video. Definitely don't forget to let me know down below what types of videos you guys would like to see from me on my channel this year. Um, like I kind of started saying, I'm definitely wanting to kind of revamp the vibe of my channel a little bit this year. Um, I kind of was feeling a little bit in a rut, a little kind of um, not motivated and not inspired. Um, and I think it was just because I've kind of moved past just makeup only type videos like that's It's also not really what I watch that much on YouTube anymore So the thought of just coming and sitting and only filming makeup tutorials just wasn't really super inspiring to me um, Now I will say I am glad that I did this one because it kind of got my creative juices flowing again and sometimes like if you're feeling a little bit in a rut, sometimes all it takes is to just do it. Just sit down and do whatever it is that you've been putting off and that may help to kind of get your juices flowing a little bit. It definitely has for me today. Um, but I have a lot of other, you know, just types of content coming for you guys that I've been kind of cooking up. So I hope that you guys are excited to kind of get to know me a little bit better and get to see me in, you know, some different environment outside of just my studio um even more so than just me kind of vlogging you know what i've been doing around the house like i have been doing i just have a lot of other types of more lifestyle produced kind of content that i want to um, start to share with you guys so hopefully you're open to it like i said again let me know down below anything that you guys would like to see more of um and yeah, I think that's all that I have to share with you guys for today's video. If you made it to the end, thank you so much for watching the entire video. I really enjoy it. If you're still here, even after, like I was saying, all of my inconsistency and just like not posting regularly, thank you so much for sticking it out with your girl. It's a new year, new beginning, fresh start. So I'm hoping to really start to um, show y'all a little something different that I hope will kind of inspire you guys and inspire me to continue to be consistent by kind of giving y'all some fresh new types of content here on my channel. So thanks again for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys very soon in my next video.